Keen Krause. Hi, my name is Keen Krause, and I'm just taking a look here at all of these upcoming MMORPGs, and uh, I spent a lot of time talking to my friends about different MMOs that I haven't heard of, new ones coming out, uh, different games that people are hyped about, and I had a few questions. What was the first MMORPG, and how did they come to evolve? Well, I spent countless hours researching, and uh, I think I got some answers. It is the early 1990s. Color computers are becoming a household item, and PC gaming is having some of its most groundbreaking innovations that will pave the way for all video games that we play today. What did PC gaming look like in the 90s? A family would share the same PC or Apple along with a few games. It was strange to use a home computer as a gaming system in comparison to the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and of course your local arcades which were really popular at the time. What kind of computer games were common in the early 90s? Where in the world is Carmen Sandiego, Populous, Myst, Doom, Sim City, Wing Commander, Sid Meier's Civilization, Wolfenstein 3D? These were the types of games that were considered popular among PC gamers. Popular computer games of the early 90s were clearly different from what was popular on the Super Nintendo and Sega. What we need to focus on though is two very important subgroups of computer gamers in this era, for their time considered geeks even by the average computer owner. The first group is the MUD players. MUD stands for multi-user dungeon, often called online text-based role-playing games. With the rise of the modem and the internet, MUD players had been doing quite well. MUDs combine elements of role-playing games, hack and slash, player versus player, interactive fiction, and online chat. The second group was the 3D RPGers. The early 90s was considered a golden age for PC RPGs with better processors capable of running 3D graphics. Huge and complicated RPGs with included booklets and manuals were made such as Ultima 7, Elder Scrolls Arena, Might and Magic 5, and many other fantastic games. It is these two genres that merged to create the first credited successful MMORPG, although it wasn't a very popular game. It was weird. It was nerdy, and it was hard and complicated. It is 1995, and this is the birth of the MMO. The game is called Meridian 59. Players connected to the game online and paid a flat monthly fee. Unlike many RPGs, it was not based around character levels and classes. Instead, each individual skill and attribute developed independently of one another. Meridian 59 was a typical sword and sorcery setting where adventurers went out and fought monsters. In the game there were few NPCs, with most of them static and unchanging. Most of the focus was on the activities of the players as they fought against the monsters in the land. Meridian 59 was followed closely in 1997 and completely outshined by what many people nowadays think is the first MMORPG, Ultima Online. Enter the world of Ultima Online. It's more than a fantasy, because it really exists. It's more than a game, because it never ends. And it's a giant leap beyond anything you've ever seen before. Ultima Online had some pretty big differences in comparison to Meridian 59, the most noticeable being the top-down 2D view. However, the game brought some very important elements to the MMORPG. It focused on the social and economic mechanics, along with a more friendly invitation to new gamers. More NPCs, dazzling effects, and a rich Ultima lore. Where Meridian pulled in thousands of players, Ultima Online grabbed over 100,000 in its first couple years. The MMORPG genre had officially made itself known. Then, in 1999, something truly amazing happened. Nine, eight, nine. A game called EverQuest cemented forever what we now recognize as the standard MMORPG. In comparison to Meridian 59 and Ultima Online, 
The graphics were absolutely jaw-dropping. The inventory management and user interface was easy and in-depth. Players chose from a staggering 13 races with unique differences. Players had to choose one of 14 classes and had to work together, standardizing the tank DPS healer system that we are all familiar with today. The lore was in-depth, the gameplay was extremely challenging, and the social environment brought in people from all walks of life, grabbing almost half a million subscriptions in its first few years. PC gaming would never again be the same, and the age of the MMORPG had begun and it lasts to this very day.